Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing some practice questions. These are the uh, the uh, product questions uh, of water. So from lesson four. So I'll just do a couple of these and we are going to be using this equation. Kw is the uh, equilibrium product constant of water, concentration of hydronium. And Kw is of course equal to 1 times 10 to the negative, 15, uh, negative 14. This is just the natural constant of water at room temperature uh, or at, uh, con at, uh, at standard temperature and pressure. So for this example, they said what's the hydroxide concentration? So we're looking for this one here. Uh, when you're given a solution of hydronium, uh, that is 6.8 times 10 to the negative 10. So that's sort of like saying that we are at a pH of about 10. So it should be a basic solution. So all we're going to do is we're just going to set up our equation like this. We're going to move the uh, move the hydroxide, the hydronium over, and then we're going to calculate. So I'm going to do 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 6.80 times 10 to the negative 10. This is a constant, so we don't have to consider the significant figures of this value. It is a constant. So that uh, that value will be as many significant figures as you want. So we are only going to be looking at one, two, three significant figures from our given value. And the value is 1.47 times 10 to the negative 5, I believe is what it said. Negative 5, yes. And that is in moles per liter. Okay. So uh, we can, of course, do the same thing for the next one, and then the next one, um, that's the same. So I want to try some of these other more interesting questions. So here we have a question. We have 0.25 moles of hydrogen, hydrogen chloride gas dissolved in 2 liters of water. Write the dissociation equation of the gas. So HCl gas plus you know, H2O uh, liquid. And we're going to get a dissociation where we get H3O plus, and that is aqueous, uh, plus uh, Cl minus, and that is aqueous. So that's the reaction of, uh, of this acid with water. And so we know that this is a strong acid, so we can treat this as a one directional arrow. There's no equilibrium here. And so we can treat the concentration of this HCl in water as the concentration of H3O uh, because it is a one-to-one -one ratio. So 0 0.25 moles divided by the 2 liters is going to give us uh, essentially half, so 0 0.125 molarity. And that's the molarity of HCl which is a, the molarity of our H3O+, plus because that's all dissolved. Okay, so that's the concentration of our, of our acid, and that means it's the concentration of our hydronium. So now we want to calculate the concentration of OH, so we need this Kw equals HO3, uh, whoops, <laughs> too many threes there, uh, multiplied by OH, which means we're going to be doing 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 is equal to this value, 0 0.125. And a thought experiment to do at this point is you just dissolved hydrox you just dissolved hydrochloric acid. Do you expect a high concentration or a low concentration of hydroxides? Hopefully, uh, if you're playing along at home, you're going to be expecting a low concentration of hydroxide because you are, you've just created an acidic solution. So let's see what happens. I believe this is 4. 1 e negative 14 divided by 0.125. No, it's going to be 8. Yes, okay. Uh, 8 times 10 to the negative. 14. So it's a very, very small, essentially zero uh, value for the hydroxide. Hydroxide does exist in solution, but it's in, in, almost infinitely small. So our two answers are this value 
and this value. Okay, so here's one more example. Let's pull, let's go to question six because this is the, probably the hardest one. You are given 10 grams of calcium hydroxide and it's dissolved in 400 milliliters of water. And for this, we're going to need to pull out our uh, molar mass. So I'm going to be quickly writing out this uh, in a thing. Okay, got it. All right, so what we have is we have 10 grams, but we need a molarity. So I'm going to take these 10 grams of calcium hydroxide, of calcium hydroxide, and I'm going to multiply that by its molar mass, which is, uh, is for one mole, or molar ratio, I guess, we have 74 grams per mole. And I don't know if that's a, that's not a particularly exact uh, value, but I just wanted this one. Right okay, zero two. Okay, well, it's, it's pretty close to 74. Uh, 0 0.092 grams. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that out. So I'm going to do 10. Uh, times 1 divided by 74.092. So I get one, 0 0.134, I'm going to keep all my digits here for a second, moles. And then I'm going to divide that, dissolve that in a 400 milliliter solution. So I'm going to get 0 0.13496 moles of calcium hydroxide dissolved in 0 0.4000 liters. So thank goodness I kept all those significant figures. And so that's going to give me 0 0.3374. And I can keep all four significant figures here. I had five, five there, and I have one, two, three, four here. So I can keep four significant figures. So that's my molarity. And uh, that's the molarity of calcium hydroxide. But that calcium hydroxide is, needs to be uh, considered uh, as being dissolved. Now there's something uh, a little bit worrisome here is what if this is not a, a soluble salt, which I don't actually think it is. Uh, so this is probably a bad example to use. But uh, let's assume it all dissolves. I, I don't want to get into the actual solubility. There's, a, there's an equation here we would have to think about. If this is an equilibrium, then this is not going to work out. But I'm going to uh, just check the KSP real quick. KSP. Yeah, yeah, the KSP is small. Oh, well. Uh, so let's just make this assumption that it's going to completely dissolve and, you know, uh, we'll, we'll come back and, you know, I'll just edit this question later with, a, with something that does dissolve. We should probably use strontium. Okay, so uh, for however much I have here, I have 0 0.3374 molar here. Then I have 0 0.6748 uh, molar here because it's a 1 to 2 ratio. Now I have the molarity of the hydroxide, so now I can calculate the, the concentration of, high, of H plus by doing Kw divided by the concentration of OH is going to be equal to the concentration of my hydronium concentration. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 0 0.6748 and that's going to give us a value, 1e negative 14 divided by 0 0.674, let's say 8, 8. And so we get a very small number, 1.48 times, uh, oh, we do still get to keep all of our significant figures. So 1.482 uh, times 10 to the negative 14. And that would be our moles of H3O+. So a very low pH indeed. 
uh, or a very high p uh, a very high pH. This would be about a pH of 14-ish. All right. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. There's a, a more extreme version of this where we take the KSP and we figure out exactly how much of this calcium hydroxide could dissolve uh, because uh, we might actually be above the solubility limit of the KSP of the calcium hydroxide. But that's for another day um, or never. Uh, so that's how you do these questions. Uh, find the moles of your acid or your base, convert those moles into the moles of hydronium or hydroxide, and then use the KW equation to convert to the other, uh, the other component, either to the hydronium or to the hydroxide from the, from the concentration you calculated. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you soon.